All right, guys, even here, and in this video, we're going to talk about Brandon Curry. So right here, you can see his most recent physique update. Bader Vodai uploaded this on his Instagram account. And based on this, you can see that he is very full. He is hard. He's very muscular. He's big. He competed earlier this year at Arnold Classic, so he didn't have a proper off season to really grow some muscle. But comparing 2018 Mr. Olympia and 2019 Arnold Classic, he made huge improvements, in this, especially in the lower body department, but I will show that to you a little bit later. Right now, I want to say, based on this photo right here, his legs, I think they look fuller. Maybe it's simply water retention, maybe he just looks bigger in the off-season, but I think I can see some improvements. Maybe not so much at the outer part of his legs, but in inner part is, is bigger, so that kind of makes up for the lacking leg size, especially for that outer sweep. But from the front, from this shot right here, he looks super impressive. He has huge arms. He doesn't lack anything. I don't see any weaknesses. I would say his calves are a little bit smaller, but who cares about calves? Judges most certainly do not. And he's very symmetrical. He's very complete. And I think he's the biggest threat to the throne. And uh, in all likeliness, he's going to become the next Mr. Olympia. Yesterday, this photo of Sean Roden surfaced. Actually, he uploaded it himself. And this is his most recent physique update, so we can stop speculating that he's not going to be shredded enough, that he's not going to be ready for the Mr. Olympia based on that Pittsburgh Pro guest post, because his body responded very, very fast. He lost a lot of fat. And here is him. So you can take a look at him, and you can take a look at uh, Brandon Curry, and you can tell me who you find more impressive. But that doesn't really mean anything, because uh, the only thing that really matters is how they look at the showtime. And I have no doubt that both of these guys will be in great shape, in great conditioning. And what is going to determine who will win the show is not going to be conditioning, I'd say. I think it's going to be the completeness of the physique. So, in 2018, if you compare Sean Rudder and Brandon Curry, the difference is huge. They were both in great conditioning, but Sean was much better because he was much bigger, much more complete. From the front, it was visible, but it wasn't that obvious. Although from the back, it was a huge difference. Brandon's legs from the back looked much weaker. Not only his glutes and hamstrings, but pretty much the overall leg mass. He didn't have that sweep that Sean had. But then, in 2019, this happened. A much, much better version of Brandon Curry that wins Arnold Classic against William Bonek. And William Bonek is known for having great legs. William was certainly on, but what Brandon brought could not be ignored. This is a really, really good package, very, very complete. Even though the progress of his lower body was tremendous, it was not, it was not the only thing that he improved. He improved everything. He came bigger, he came more conditioned, he came fuller. And this transformation happened in only like five to six months. So he competed at the Mr. Olympia, and that was in September, and then later in March he competed at Arnold, making a huge improvement. And he keeps making improvements year after year. And he's 36 years old, compared to Sean, who is 44 now. So Brandon just reached pretty much that perfect age for bodybuilders, where the muscle maturity comes into place. We will see what can he bring at this Mr. Olympia. He still has a lot of time. He has 12 weeks to diet down, and he will come perfect. I'm sure he will be in great conditioning. And I'm sure he knows very well that he can win the throne. I think he's well aware of that. And he's very much hyped. Many people think that he's going to win it. The thing is, yeah, Sean's legs are going to be better. No doubt about that. He cannot improve them that much. That's his genetically weaker body part. But what he doesn't bring with his lower body, he makes up with his upper body. His back is one of the best backs we've seen in a long time. His arms are super big, super full, very symmetrical. It's even weird how symmetrical his arms are. That's not even something that you can see every day. The same thing goes with his back, with his chest and pretty much everything. He's very, very symmetrical and that's a huge plus. Also, very conditioned. The only thing that he lacks is lower body. But I'm thinking, based on everything we saw so far, it's gonna be very close between these two guys. And in all likeliness, Brandon will win the show. Look, Sean does win back double bicep, most likely, but there are poses like this one, side chest, in which Brandon looks more impressive. He's fuller, he's bigger, he looks better. Also, most muscular, for example. Sean is not bad, he looks great, but Brandon is something else. He's just a pit bull, so much muscle on his frame. 
Same thing goes with back lat spread, especially with back lat spread. I mean, take a look at the difference. Yeah, you can see that his legs are a little bit lacking. They're not as good as Sean's from the back, but not as much as you can see in back uh, double bicep. And look at the back. The back is so full, so thick. There is so much muscle on it, so complete, so symmetrical. The conditioning is on point. Everything is there. Everything is there. I just love this pose of him. So it's gonna be a battle, and I'm looking forward to watching that. I'm very excited about it, because Sean will win some poses, Brandon will win some poses. It's gonna be very exciting, and maybe this doesn't even happen. Maybe somebody else is gonna be in the top two. Maybe not even Sean, maybe not even Brandon. But I think this is pretty realistic. I think, you know, likeness is how it's gonna be. And we are here speaking about their last versions, the best of them. So 2018, Sean Rodin, which we don't know. Is it gonna happen again? Or is Sean gonna come better? Which is possible, but not very likely. And Brandon Curry, we're talking about his 2019 Arnold Classic Edition. Will he improve on that? It's possible. It seems like he did improve a little bit. Right now, at this very moment, we cannot be sure how is it gonna go down, because we don't know how will they look at the Mr. Olympia. But based on what we can see so far, we can speculate, and that's all I'm doing, I'm just speculating here. But one thing is for sure, they know that this is very important for both of them. Brandon is very much hyped, so he knows he is the, one of the biggest threats to the throne. He knows the door is wide open. However, Sean is the established champion, and he needs to prove to people that he deserves to win that title. So he is motivated highly. And uh, based on what we saw so far, I think Sean can come maybe even a little bit bigger, but I'm pretty sure he will bring the conditioning. And Brandon, I think he will improve his lower body a little bit based on this uh, progress photo that we saw. And uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing what happens. It's going to be very exciting. And whatever you guys think about this, tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.